Welcome to Bits of an Artist's Life. I'm Sandy Hester, and on this channel, I share bits of my life as an artist. I'm so glad you enjoyed last week's video, where I shared part one of our trip to England. If you missed that video, I'll have it linked below in the description. This week, I'll be sharing part two of that trip, visiting friends, painting with my artist friends, sharing paintings I've done for my travels, and at the end, I'll share a haul of the art I bought and art gifts I was given by my sweet friends. Let's jump in. One of the highlights of the trip was the crazy timing that Emily Powell would be having her open studio the same week that we were there in England. So of course we made the trip. It was amazing. It was so fun to meet Emily, spend a few minutes here and there talking with her. I told Great Air we would really like to buy a painting. So I spent time going through all the bins. I knew I needed to just buy like a paper piece to be able to get back. That's really all I had room for. My suitcase was like a thin piece of paper. I'll show you what I purchased later. I left there so stinking inspired. Like my brain was just going 50 miles an hour. I felt like get a paintbrush in my hand immediately. So we left there and went to, I think it's called, it's either Dartmoor or Dartmouth. I, I think Dartmoor, basically like this big national park kind of thing pretty famous and uh, I wanted to paint there. And then next thing I know, we're like driving out of this amazing park. And I was thinking to myself, I thought I was gonna get to paint here. Anyways, next thing I know, we're someplace else getting a bite to eat and I didn't get to paint there. So I'll have to put that on my bucket list for next time I'm back. Of course, we needed to go into a grocery store while we were in England. I love going to grocery stores when I'm in a different state, definitely a different country. And we went in, I think we just went in to grab some water, but I was like looking at the fruit and veggie aisle and then Gray was like, okay, are you ready? And I was like, no, I'm not ready. He was like, well, how much more do you have to do? And I was like, I'm going down every aisle. And he was like, every aisle. And I was like, yeah. He was like, why do you need to do that? We're just getting some water. And I was like, well, I need to see like all the stuff. I think I only got to go down like three more aisles because he was rushing me. He was like, we have a meeting. We have some place to be. So I was taking pictures of, you know, while he was like looking at the meat and I don't know, you know, it's neat how they had the bread and the milk and all that, but I could have spent probably a good hour in the grocery store just looking around because that's what you do when you're in another country. You need to see what the prices are, what things they have, all this stuff. But I was a little rushed by someone. Another favorite day was when Mel Chadwick and her husband Tony came up to visit us. We're just here in the parking lot, like meeting in person for the very first time. We were both just so giddy. They live in Cornwall, which is like between two and three hours away. And they made the long journey to come up and spend part of the day with us. What sweet, sweet time with them. It was kind of a rainy day, rainy, drizzly. Oh wait, what did Mel call it? She said, oh, they call it mizzle. So it's like a a mixture of mist and drizzle. I loved that word, mizzle. I was like, we definitely have mizzle here in Tennessee. So we set up in one spot, and I'll show you that sketch later, back where um, Emma and Phil and I sat. We sat there first, and then it started raining way too much. Like our paintings were just getting completely messed up. So then we moved to this area that was like really um, covered really well, really tall, and it looked like we could just probably sit there. I had been wanting to paint this blue bridge anyways. I loved the, the buildings on each side, but also I noticed every time that I was down there, there were swans and they all stayed in this one little area. So I definitely wanted to capture that because it was something I just loved about the place. And we just had the best time like sitting and chatting and catching up and getting to know one another even better. It, I think we both just had such a sweet day together and I'm so thankful that Grady was there to capture it for us. I absolutely loved Mel's sketch that got rained on. It created such texture. I feel like it just added to the atmosphere of it. It was really, really beautiful. Definitely memory making day for me. I think we both just thoroughly enjoyed it and we did have the best scones of our life too. Well, I don't know about her life, but definitely my life um, at this little pub I guess it was I don't know someplace right around the, the corner from our hotel and we had a great lunch and um, had just delish scones I keep saying how good the scones but it was really the um, what was that stuff we put on top clotted cream Ooh, doggy that stuff was good I mean I think I could have used like two pots of the clotted cream 
I loved it so much. I was like, just bring me a spoon for the clotted cream. <laughs> it's all the growl, filming males, filming on filming. <laughs> uh, fun, fun day. Wait, there's Mel in the background. Yay. Fun day. Okay, look at the birds up there. Look how cute. Hey guys. Really old church here that we just went in. Grady and Tony and more cute birds up there. Definitely go check out Mel's channel because she did a video that included some footage from our time together and it was really good. I'll put a link below of her channel and that video. Okay, so Mel and I first set up in the same spot that I set up with Emma and Phil, but it started raining on us. We knew rain was probably coming, but we just decided to chance it anyways. I, I didn't get to finish it, but I absolutely love the way the rain made all the marks. Here's where my water bucket, I set it on top of here while I was like trying to carry everything and we were running through the rain and anyways, to find a new place. I like that it's unfinished. I think it turned out really good. Let me show you the other one that we did. Then we set up underneath this like covered thing and did this one. I knew I wanted to capture this blue bridge. The swans were always underneath that bridge and I've done a bunch of paintings from this and added more swans. So far I've done two paintings from my time with Mel down at the blue bridge with the swans. I will definitely be doing some more because it's just, I don't know. I mean, what, what can you not love about this? Swans. Blue Bridge, cute little English village. Um, this one I was trying to capture in like just the mass amount of geese, but the little birds and stuff in the sky and the village. I mean, all of these are gonna be so hard for me to let go because they have such memories attached with them. But these were the two that I did so far for my time with Mel. Here are a couple that I've done from the, the time down at the Key where I've kind of combined several sketches. I painted so much down there, but here's one of the boat and all the little village. The little birds in the background make me so happy. This is a mixed media piece where I used everything, color pencil, oil pastel, acrylic. Okay, this is our official last morning here in Exeter. And I am Heading back over this bridge. Um, we don't have much time before we have to check out, so I am going over here to sketch. It's just absolutely gorgeous. So I don't have much time to sketch, and I'm feeling really rough. Last night was crazy rough. Something with dinner, um, absolutely, whew, it was bad. I thought I was gonna have to go to the hospital. Um, didn't get any sleep. Still in a lot of pain. Uh, but I just couldn't not come down here to paint. So, look at the beauty. These swans down here are just gorgeous. Um, so I'm gonna go, oh, it's raining. Oh boy, interesting. Okay, sunny out. Oh no, the gates are locked, what? Oh no, okay, sorry. Uh, so I've got about an hour I'm gonna sketch. And then we, Grady's checking us out doing the bags while I'm gonna come down here. And then we have to have like a three to four hour drive to London. We'll eat lunch before we go. And then my friend Sarah Dyer is going to drive into London. Like what? Like she's so brave. I know she goes to London and stuff a lot and that probably doesn't sound oh so brave, but to me it is like, navigating where we're gonna be and all that. So she's gonna meet us at the hotel, like bar restaurant, and we're gonna visit and sketch. So excited, I can't wait. It's been super fun to meet all my friends in person. It's felt surreal. I've constantly felt like I'm pressing down, falling my head off. Just taking it all in, the beauty, the kindness of my friends. The whole experience has been amazing like best trip of my life. Okay, I feel like I need to focus to figure out where I'm going, but I just wanna tell you that. Uh, I packed all my paints up, so I've just got my watercolors and color pencils, but that'll be great. Need to be fast. Anyways, there's the, I don't know what this is called, a river, or what it is, but okay. I'm gonna go find where I'm supposed to be. 
Okay, I thought I would show you where I set up. I set up right here. This is where Emma, Phil, and I set up <clears throat> last time. And I'm having to like weigh everything down so it doesn't blow away. This is my first, just kind of like get some big colors in. I think now what I'm gonna do, I'm trying to get it to dry out here in the sun. I'm gonna weigh it down, everything's blown away. And then I think I'll use my color pencils and add some detail. Um, but this is the view. How amazing, there's a cool big boat down there. That's awesome. Lots of other really wonderful boats. I mean, it's just absolutely gorgeous. Oh, oh no, there goes my seat. Oh no, please, please, please. Oh no, 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 no. Oh, that's exciting. Oh no, okay, <laughs> I had to get... Okay, better hang on to that. All right, where were we? Uh, back to the tour. Okay, there's like this little thing in between two buildings here with some steps kayaks or whatever are in there and in there people the other day were coming out with them and getting in the water here but I think my time's almost up so I better sit down and finish this up okay wow that got my heart rate up it's funny how this has helped my stomach <laughs> uh, I help my body relax a little bit from all the stomach pain from last night Okay, I'm gonna get back to this. Okay, I think I'm done. I've packed up and I think I'm gonna head to uh, a little bit of a place where Grady can find me a little easier and we won't have as long of a walk. But here's my finished sketch. I'm happy with it. <clears throat> I would have liked to have had my regular acrylic wash paints, but this was still nice. And I was proud of myself for putting a few figures in. I never put figures in. Um, but I think that was nice and I had the seagull or whatever this is um, that came and like stood right here and basically posed for me. It was really nice, uh, but I'm happy with it. It will be nice to have this to capture my last memories of being here um, this morning. And it's fun because a lot of people are coming out now in their kayaks. It was like kind of a cold morning though to do that. Uh, okay, bye Exeter Key. I love you. You are wonderful. Oh, you are wonderful to paint and wonderful to just be here and make my eyes happy. The very last day that we were there, I did not feel good at all, but I went down to the key and did this quick watercolor. And it's been interesting. I think everybody I've shown this to has gasped when they've seen it. And I didn't even really think it was that great, but I've done some paintings from this and I love how it's turned out. Uh, and then this is one that I did with the big seagull. I don't know if they call them seagulls, but things like this, the little markings on the buildings, the birds in the background, the figures. Um, yeah, everybody that I've showed the sketch that I did this one from have just loved it and it's been really inspiring. Oh yeah, look at that little figure. I just this morning started one on canvas that's a little bit larger based on this. So again, these will be up on the website. Okay, look how cute this bathroom is. It's the roadside like place to eat. And it is so cute. <laughs> so clean. Look at those little cute lights in the toilet room. Oh, you probably can't see how cute they are, but they're cute. Okay, Granny's waiting for me. <laughs> Stop taking video in the you know bathroom. Okay, so we're right outside that place that I just showed you with the key bathroom. Look at this view. We're on the side of the road, motorway or whatever. This is our view. This is our bathroom. This place is so nice. Okay, going to get our food now. Okay, look, there's literally sheep. We're in London. There's sheep Use on the, the interstate. It's hysterical. Sarah Dyer was another friend of mine that traveled quite a ways to come see me, which felt like such a gift and such a blessing. On the day before we flew out, we had to drive back to London because our flight was going to be so early. And Sarah made the long trip to come in to London and meet me at the hotel airport. And so we just sat there in like the, I don't know, it was kind of like this lobby, bar, restaurant area and sketched and laughed. And she stayed long enough to have dinner with us. Grady really enjoyed getting to know her. I was so glad that they could meet and hang out. And 
It was just another time of just sweet memory making. And there was just something about when sketching and visiting with someone that all those conversations and memories just get captured in there. So thank you, Sarah, for coming all the way to come visit me. And thank you for the sweet gifts you brought me too. This is the sketch that I did with Sarah Dyer when she met me up at the airport, um, the airport hotel. And I love it. I think this little lady right here is my absolute favorite. She turned out so cute. That's Grady. I plunked him in and I plunked him in like too big, but I think it's kind of funny. I like it. I did just one painting from the sketch that I did with Sarah, but it was really fun to do and I loved how the figures turned out. Uh, it's just really colorful and has the feeling of like a coffee shop and yeah, just real happy with it. It was fun, so I wanted to show it to you. It's four something in the morning. We're on our first official train. We are leaving London, or leaving England, and we're on our first train, but it's really early. We're trying to get ourselves to the airport, or I kind of think we're at the airport, I don't know. We're just following Grady, but it's been a great trip. We're really tired this morning. <sighs> All packed. There's Grady across the way. Yep, let's come back home. So I did a couple quick ones um, on the plane on the way back home. And this was just one I did of like people boarding the plane really quickly. I did this of the cathedral, which I absolutely love. Then I also did this one of um, a place there in Exeter. And I think that one turned out really fun. I wanted to give you a little haul of either things that I bought or things that were gifted to me on our trip by wonderful friends. I thought I would first start with the thing that I purchased, which was an Emily Powell original painting. I was so excited. It was very hard to choose. I narrated it down to three paintings and I thought Grady would help me, but he was no help whatsoever. <laughs> okay, but I love this one. I wanted something where she had written on it. It says, so many good rooftops and windows in St. Ives. You are beautiful and good with a cup of tea. And there was just something about the colors and the mark making that I just loved. There was also like a tiger and then there was another landscape. But I decided to go with the landscape since I had picked two landscapes. But I want to show you the back of this too. <laughs> I was like, well, that's kind of a piece of art even on the back with all the paint. I just loved that. It was also a reminder to me that I don't have to be careful with my work when I'm out because there's just something about this kind of being beaten up that is part of the quality of it or the um, texture and just the fact that it was used and yeah, I don't know. I just absolutely love it. It was really inspired by that. So that was my painting. I cannot wait to get it framed and once I do, I will show it to you if I remember. Hopefully I'll have it framed and up on my wall before I even post this video. The other thing that I got was this little book. Jack, her husband actually, ooh, my hands are filthy, um, gave this to me, which I thought was so, so kind. And um, the night that I got it, or the day that I got it, that night before I bed, I was like looking through this and I had to just put it away because I'm not going to be able to sleep. I was so inspired all the texture and color and mark making. I just absolutely love her work. I, she may still have these for sale. I don't know. I feel like when she, yeah, that you can't always find. It's like she'll kind of, oh yeah, she signed it for me, which was so sweet. Yeah, you'll just have to go to her website and see. I'm not sure if she has this for sale or not, but I feel very, very excited to own that. Then my friend Sarah Dyer, we got together to sketch and she got me a few pencils from Choosing Keeping. I've never been to that store, but I would love to go. And she got me three pencils that I loved. This is one of those multicolor ones where the end, the tip is.
so fun. Then this red and blue, vermilion and Prussian blue. Love that. And then this one, she got one for herself too, which I was so glad because I was using it while we were sketching together. And I kept going on and on. I was like, oh, this is so smooth and it's so dark and I just loved it. it it's got just such a great feel about it. I don't know, it was really nice, but it's a 10B. She said she'd never seen a 10B before and she got one for herself too. And I was like, well, you're gonna love it. I love that pencil. In fact, I keep meaning to like try these, but I love this one so much, I kept using it. Okay, then my friend Mel Chadwick, she came to see me also and just brought me a load of goodies. I love Mel's work and ooh, I'm going to wait. I'm going to hide that because I want to show that to you last. Hold on. <laughs> okay, let's see. She gave me some cards of hers. She is having a show right now with some other friends and she got some of these printed and she brought them to me as gifts and I just could not... Be more thrilled. I mean, I love this Cornish dishes. I mean, I just love it. And then she did this map of the chapels and churches in the area. And I just think that's so neat. I love her line work. This one is so pretty too. I love that square card. Let's see. And then I still want to save that for last. Hold on. I do love this though. I could not believe she sent me one of her, or gave me one of her calendars. I love the way that she did this she, this year. She gave me her calendar last year and I love it. I use it like to write ideas and thoughts and plans for YouTube videos and just kind of like art related work that I have. So I was excited to have this for next year. She has these available so you can get one of these yourself. I think I wanna just do this this way where you can just see the pictures. She's taken pictures from her sketchbooks. Let's see, how do I wanna do this? Maybe like this and I'll zoom in. And I love how she's got little bits of color, uh, color swatches. She's also put her prompts that she, like she's giving you prompts for the month of things that you can sketch. And then she's added those in here, like sketches of those prompts herself. It's absolutely stunning. And I think she has done a great job. You can tell she's put a lot of work into this. Uh, gorgeous, beautiful gift. I will use this all year and I'm so thankful to have that. Beautiful. Then something new that she is doing. She said, I literally think that you are the first one to own this. So these, this is like a little zine she's done of her work. I like gasped. It is so beautiful. So the first page, she tells a little about herself. I mean, look at these sketches. Absolutely beautiful. Her line work and color choices. Oh, I mean, if that's not inspiring, it is so pretty. I love the paper. It's so well done. She tells a little bit about it here. I just love the format. I feel like this gives it kind of a frame. And I'm pretty sure she's got these available too, unless she sells all of them at the show that she's having. But you definitely want to snatch one of these up because it is so inspiring. I should have washed my hands before I did this. I think my hands are dirty. I was just painting. Uh, and there's some of her materials. So absolutely beautiful book. I mean, these gifts just, wait, let me make sure. Yeah, okay, I wanted to make sure I showed everything. So yeah, just gifts that I will treasure, gifts that I will use. Uh, yeah, I'm just th so thankful for my art friends. It was just such a great trip to be able to sketch with them and then they would bring me like gifts just felt ridiculous. So there's that. And I can't wait to put this up on my wall. Love it. Thanks for coming with us on our trip to England. It was really fun watching the footage back, preparing the videos for y'all. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed the little trips and maybe we'll have some more trips like that in the future that we can bring y'all along on. Make sure to subscribe, ring the bell, give it a thumbs up, all the things if you enjoyed it. 
I'll see you back here in two weeks. Bye. It's not the pillow that I'm holding. Instead of you.